Imagine that you are developing an application on a mobile phone that is a smart home system. Your application should connect to various devices like lights, heating, air conditioning, security cameras, and so on. All these devices should be able to interact with each other. Still, direct communication between these components can lead to a tangled web of interactions, which is hard to manage and maintain. To solve this problem, we can use the mediator design pattern. The mediator is a behavioral design pattern that facilitates communication between different objects without them necessarily being aware of each other or having direct coupling. Their interaction is handled by a central point, the mediator. First, let's create the manager interface, which has a signal method and stores all device references. Then, let's create the class Smart Home Manager, which implements Manager. It contains several functions that are needed to handle different devices. Then, we have a device interface for all the devices we will have. It also includes a reference to the manager. And finally, concrete devices, light, heating, air condition, and so on. With this setup, any device can send a signal to the manager, which will handle it properly. Also, the manager can propagate that signal to all the devices that signal needs. There are four actors in this pattern. The first, mediator, is an interface that defines the communication methods that concrete mediators must implement. It also maintains references to the participating objects. The concrete mediator class implements the mediator interface and manages the interactions and coordination between the participating objects. Component is an interface that defines the communication methods that concrete components must implement. It maintains a reference to the mediator. And of course, concrete components are classes that implement the component interface and communicate with the other components through the mediator. Regarding benefits, the design pattern promotes loose coupling and easier maintenance by reducing direct dependencies between components. This centralized control helps manage complex interactions and avoids tangled relationships among components. Also, Adding new components or changing interaction patterns becomes easier, with modifications being localized to the mediator, enhancing extensibility. On the other hand, one of the main issues is the additional complexity it can introduce, particularly when dealing with many components and intricate interactions. The mediator can become a single point of failure, or a performance bottleneck, if it becomes overly complex or tightly coupled with the components. This design pattern also limits the independence of the components, since they need to communicate through the mediator, which is only ideal in some scenarios. Additionally, depending on how it is implemented, using a mediator might introduce a slight performance overhead due to the additional layer of communication required. That's all about the mediator design pattern. See you in the next video.